Hey YouTube, it's your old pal Bromine coming at you with a video response to Animal Vader 1's 300 sub contest. Congratulations on 300 subs. I've got 13 subs. Where my boys at? Uh, Animal Vader's contest is asking which comic, show the comics that you remember purchasing first, your first comic that you purchased yourself. I think this is a great idea. In fact, this was something I was planning on highlighting in one of my videos. Uh, so I already had these uh, comics in, in mind. I'm going to show you three comics and I'll explain to you why I chose these three. Um, so let's get to it. All right. And this will date me and you'll know why I'm your old pal, Bromine. Um, Okay, so these first two I bought at the same time. I bought at the Safeway supermarket down the street from my house. Anybody lives in Northern California, you know you had a Safeway near you at some point. Um, so this first one is Iceman Limited Series number one. Now I took these out of the bags so you could really see how loved these comics were. I'm going to zoom in right now. You can see there's a big old crease right there. Uh, the spine is worn. Probably not showing up very well on these uh, on this video. Uh, you can tell that it was not taken care for in the greatest uh, greatest way when I first got it. Uh, in fact, my first comics were just thrown in a dirty old cardboard box. No bags, no boards, no nothing. It probably sat that way for the first three or four months that I was collecting. Um, until I go, oh, hey, wait, you can buy these special bags and these special boxes and all this other crap that they nickel and dime you for at the, at the comic shop. But actually, they were all good. I mean, you needed that stuff. Anyways, so I bought that. And then I bought West Coast Avengers number one. Now this is the one I was looking for. I remember distinctively uh, one of my friends in sixth grade. Yes, I bought this when I was, what, 11 years old. <laughs> um, he had uh, an extensive X-Men collection. Um, and he would bring it to school. So they're probably in shitty condition now. But anyways, he'd bring him to school, we'd look through his comics, and I remember seeing an ad for this comic, and I'm going, saying to myself, I've got to get this comic. Look at all the floating heads. This must be an awesome comic. Nobody has bodies except for the purple dude with the bow and arrow. Um, but anyways, no, I, I thought this looked cool. Um, and so I went to the, like I said, the local... Uh, grocery store. I saw this. I saw Iceman. Iceman is because uh, I don't know if anybody will remember this um, or if anybody is old enough to remember this, but Spider Man and his amazing friends. Spider Man, Iceman, um, and Firestar. Firestar, right? And I believe the little dog was in that too, Miss Lion. Anyways, um, so I picked up these two comics. The first two comics I purchased with my own money. Um, now this third comic I'm going to show you. Oh, let me show you the wear on this guy. All right, so let me zoom in close. I think that's pretty much a tape issue. Um, it's dirty as heck. Um, you can't probably tell in this video, but instead of being white on the cover, it's kind of a yellowish. Um, the pages uh, are relatively white. Yeah, they're pretty white. I mean, they're pretty good. The back, I don't know if you can see that, but the back has wrinkles like crazy. And, yeah, and then there's a bunch of, um, sorry, a bunch of creases and stuff in there as well. So, I mean, these aren't mint copies, and, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. I took care of them as I would have taken care of any comic at that point. Just throw it in a box and maybe read it later. Um, actually at that point I knew that I wanted to start buying some more comics. Any, anyway, so the third comic I'm showing you is the first one I bought at a comic shop. 
So this is around the same time as these other two, maybe a month or so later. Um, I'm just guessing by the, the date in the boxes here, but that's that first comic from a comic shop was The Avengers. Uh, looks like they're calling it The Mighty Avengers at that time, but The Avengers, number 250. Double-sized uh, issue with the West Coast Avengers and the East Coast Avengers. Uh, this one, too, is well-loved. Um, I was going to... I thought there was... No, I've got, I've got another issue around here that's really beat up that I bought new. But this one, um, it's pretty dirty. Um, actually, looks like there was a printing issue. Like, they didn't print it uh, right. There's a double issue, so maybe that's how they printed those. I don't know. Usually, this you wouldn't see this little line there. It wouldn't be so pronounced. Um, but anyways, well-loved comics. Um, still my favorites. Wouldn't give these ones up for the world. All right, Animal Vader, I'm a new sub to you, so if that disqualifies me from the contest, I totally understand, but I wanted to post this video anyways. just happened to be coincided with your um, contest. Uh, I have been watching some of your videos, and I am going to continue to subscribe to you, so hopefully that means something. If not, I'll be around for the, the, the 400 sub contest. Anyways, all right, guys, that's my video. I'll see you next time.